Hello again, it's me, Martin. And uh, in the last tutorial, I showed you how you can count words with Microsoft Excel. All right. So this time we'll do a little bit more uh, applied. Uh, we'll apply that, and I'll show you how to count words in a specific corpus. So here I have the uh, one file of the Burden Corpus of Lo London Teenage Language, and basically looks like this, right? So you have a header where there is a lot of information about the speakers and the file itself, so where it took place, um, what people were doing, where that happened, and also it will contain information about the speakers. So here, for example, um, the first speaker is Peter, he's male, um, he's 14 years old, um, his first language or variety is British English, and it's not the dialect and so on, right? So basically the uh, actual text, right, starts here. It's always indicated with that kind of string where you have you, space, who, then you have the uh, basically the speaker, right? So here it's not Peter that starts talking, but who speaker to. Um, speaker to is Tom. He's also male, right? He's 15 years, and so on. So the two indicates that it's uh, the second speaker. The one here indicates it's speaker one, and so on, right? And here you have, oh no, it actually begins here. So uh, Peter actually starts the conversation, right? Then it's Tom, it's Peter again. Then it's Tom again, right? And the ID basically uh, is an utterance count, right? So this is the first utterance, the second, this is the third, and so on, right? Um, or turn, if you like. Okay, it's probably better than utterance. Um, so everything that is before uh, you, who, and so on, right? Uh, that's a header, so to say, right? So the header contains information about the file of the speakers, and uh, everything after that right after the first uh, you who uh, there's a text okay so what I did was I put all the files into uh, text pad and deleted all the headers right so uh, my file then looked like this right and you see that it's similar uh, or actually the same you see that here you have the same text right uh, soon find out cause blah blah blah. Right? Soon find out cause you blah blah blah. Alright? So all I did was basically I deleted the header. And the next step, I deleted uh, the yoohoo, right? And only left the speaker ID there, right? Which is here at 1 1. The yeah is by Tom, by speaker 2. So here you have the uh, 1 2, right? And also what I did was I deleted all uh, non-character uh, strings, right? So all signs that are not text, there are not letters, all right? Uh, except for these, right? Um, um, I let them in and also the um, equal sign here because it doesn't influence the word count, all right? So here you have just one uh, corpus file. I edited a little bit. Here we have the speaker. Here we have the text. Alright, now I'll just copy that and put it into uh, Microsoft Excel. Here's the first example. Um, no, I'll do it differently. I'll do it like that. And I'll put it here. Right? And put another copy in here. And the next step for me before counting words is I'll just delete everything after the ID of the speaker first, right? So here I say uh, delete everything after the first space, right? Okay, so here we have the speaker and here we have the text. And I can leave in here the speaker. Why? Because if you remember, we have to add one anyways, right? So here is just an additional space. So if I leave it in there, we'll just not need to uh, add one at the end to get the correct word count. 
All right, so uh, I have the uh, have the formula here, the command. I'll explain it again in a second. Right, uh, it's actually not correct. Of course, here I need to change the C to B, and it's B one, not B two. Here as well, B one, and also B one. And since we left the speaker ID in there, we don't need to add them. So here we have 16 words, and we'll just uh, count and check if that's correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So the word count is correct. How's it work? Well, uh, what we do is we have basically the text. And uh, we create another version of the text, or Excel does, here. Or, well, I'll just copy a little more, put in there. And uh, the command basically tells Excel to delete all the spaces in that second version of the text, right? And then Excel uh, basically um, uh, looks how much the text in that cell is longer than that cell, right? And it's 16 spaces longer, so here we get the 16. And, you know, just if we count again, here is a space. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, right? So that's the way you uh, basically uh, can calculate word counts. Now, what else you want to do? You want to know, of course, the word counts for all the cells. You just double click on the lower right corner. Then you get word counts for each uh, utterance or turn. All right. And the next thing is you want to sort these two cells according to speaker. No, not switching the place, but do that. Um, sort according to whatever is in uh, column A. And I have all the turns of speaker A in one row. And everything that speaker 2 and speaker 3 said in the uh, lines below. And here we have one utterance where we just don't know who said it, right? But it's only one word anyways. So now we can use uh, Excel again. So we we'll say equal then this the content of that cell is identical to the content of that cell please uh, put zero uh, in that cell otherwise one I'll show you why in a second okay so of course here we have the same speaker so it's all zero but here this is the last uh, time that speaker one Peter says anything, and then there's speaker two. All right. Right. Then what we do is type another command and say then this cell. Oh, sorry. Uh, open brackets. Right. So this cell is the same as that, as that cell. Right. Oh, no, sorry, I'm a little bit lost here. Uh, that cell, we have to say, please, put the same value as there in there. And here we now can say, then that cell is the same as that cell. Then, please, take the, uh, the value of that cell and add that. Otherwise, start with that value in that cell here. All right, all right. So, what that does is basically it sums up all the words uttered by a speaker, and as soon as there is another speaker, I'll start over new again. All right. Now, what is very important for you to do is to uh, highlight everything, copy it, go to A1 and say Inhalte einfügen 
Werte. Okay? Of course, now, in these cells, it's not formulas, but it's the actual uh, numbers, right? So now we can sort it. Because if we sort it um, uh, differently or just, you know, do anything with these two columns, the values here will change, right? But we don't want that. So what we do now is please sort everything according to column D and in decreasing order. So now what happens is we have the speaker here, right? This speaker one, speaker two, speaker three, and here the one where we don't know we set something. And here we have the word counts. So speaker one says two hundred and forty six words. Speaker two says uh, thirty five words. And speaker three says nine words. All right. Uh, that's basically how you can use Microsoft Excel to provide you with word counts of speakers or files, if you like. Right? If you want to know how many words uh, there are in the file, what you could have done is just uh, tell Excel to provide you with the overall number of words, which here is uh, 291. All right? So this is just to show you how you can basically count words for speakers or files. Uh, corpus files using Microsoft Excel. Alright, thank you and in the next tutorial I'll show you how you can use that and uh, save a lot of time. Alright, so see you next time. Bye.